All right, guys, we are back with another one. And today we're going to be doing an American flag. You heard me, the red, the white, and the blue. And those are the only colors that we're going to be using today. We're going to start off with this 8x10 canvas. We're going to have a base coat of white. Then we're going to make a template for the red area and a template for the blue area. But that's coming up. We're going to go ahead and put our base coat down and let it dry for about two and a half hours while we make our template. Make sure your paint shook up very well. We're gonna start at the bottom, work our way all the way up the canvas and back down. A thick, heavy coat. There we go. Just a nice overlapping coat. People ask me how I spray like this. I just be doing something. Spray like you spray. Be comfortable. Just make sure it's even, you don't have any runs. It's smooth. That's all you gotta do. And there we go. Our base coat is down. We're gonna let it dry for about two and a half hours. Then we're gonna come back and hit it with a coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss Red. And then we're gonna put our template down so we can do the blue. Y'all stick around, it's gonna be an amazing burn. All right guys, it's been about two and a half hours. We made our template. We started off by tracing the canvas onto some butcher paper and cutting it out, boom. And then we took that piece of butcher paper and we cut it again to make this template right here. So that's when you're gonna be putting your blue and that little piece that we took out is when you're gonna be doing your red. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the template right there. How we're gonna put it down, we're just gonna line it up best we can. Right there, I'm using old dominoes to hold it down. You can use what you like. I'm gonna use dominoes, some old ones. Boom. That's it, move them around a little bit. It'll hold it down. Try to line it up a little better. Come on. There we go. Now we're gonna hit our we're gonna hit it with a coat of Rust-Oleum Gloss Red. Make sure your paint shook up very well. Then we're gonna start at the top and work our way down. And there we go. Probably missed the spot a little bit, but it'll be all right. It'll blend right in, look all right. We're gonna let this dry for about an hour and a half, two hours, and then we're gonna do our blue. Y'all stick around. All right, guys, so we're back. It's been about an hour and a half. We're gonna go ahead and grab that and pull that on off. There we go. Paint's good. We're gonna take our other piece. Gonna sit it in there. Try to line it up. All right there. Drop our dominoes. Yeah. Right there. Just drop them. Be all right. Slide one over here. There we go. So, we got that all set up for our blue. Make sure your blue shook up. Then we're gonna hit it with a coat of blue, a little test spray. There we go. That should be good enough. Looks pretty good. We're gonna let that dry. Then we're gonna start this amazing burn. Y'all stick around. All right, guys. So this is the image that we chose to engrave today, but it is not ready to engrave as it sits. So we gotta go through and we gotta change a few things. The first thing is we gotta change this. Do you see this black color? We need this behind the stars and the stripes to be just that black so we can engrave it correctly. Um, so I already got my bucket filled, it's black. So we're gonna go ahead and just click behind the stars Give it a few clicks. Over here, 
we're gonna give it a few, few clicks. Cause we want this to be very black, dark. We can have some um, deviations to, to give it a little old time like contrast, but we don't wanna get, wanna pretty, keep it pretty dark. Um, go darker. So these are some of the things you have to do sometime to make sure, to ensure that you get a great burn. Try to go through, change the color a little bit. Um, that's about it. That's why I love GIMP because you can do these different things. We're gonna still keep it looking, you know what I mean, original. We're just gonna change the color structure a little bit. zoom in and find those things in and really get them took them a few times and they'll get darker okay, okay um, now I'm going to change the white some get our bucket and we're going to change the color to our white and we're going to hit our white areas because if not they, they weren't going to engrave as deep as we want them to engrave so we can reveal the white which that's cool if you're looking for a rusted look um but me i want to try to get it as white as i possibly can um even the stars you can go through Just enhance them a little bit. Some good editing. Right there. Alright. That's pretty good. Everything is pretty much outlined. Pretty good. I know I keep going back, y'all forgive me. But uh that's what I do. There we go. So now the image to me it is ready to engrave. So we'll go ahead. Make sure you scale your image. You go to image scale out. Should have been did it, but this was pretty much already scaled to an 8 by 10. Make sure it's scale. We're gonna go to GIMP, the big GIMP and plug in. And it's gonna be 304 dpi and we're gonna be doing 260 over 210 there we go i'm gonna hit okay and let it process boom there we go file we're gonna export it as uh we'll call it amd put a cap on that amd american deer American flag there, but we're gonna go export. Make sure quality is at 100%, and boom, we exported it. We're gonna load it into Lightburn because it is burn ready now, and we're gonna get ready to start this amazing burn. Y'all stick around. All right, guys, we got to load into Lightburn. I had to go back and redo my GIMP in, big GIMP in plugin because I kind of had it backwards. It's supposed to have been 210 by 260. I put 260 by 210. Hey, it happens. So we got that fixed. Our settings for this burn is going to be let's go to our custom layer and see we're going to be running 6,000 millimeter speed max power 35 percent and we're going to be using pass through since we did all our work and again we're going to pass through over in light burn so that's what we're going to be doing let's go ahead and preview it to see how it looks i want to maximize that guy 
that's what inverted that's how it's gonna turn out it's gonna be an amazing burn um says it's gonna take one hour 38 minutes and nine seconds so i am loving that we're gonna get everything set up we're gonna start this amazing burn all right guys our canvas is dry before we start this amazing burn i want to send a shout out to all my subscribers i appreciate y'all we're about six thousand 90 subscribers we're on the road to 10,000 and we will get there another big shout out to my patreons I appreciate each and every last one of y'all for supporting my channel y'all are the MVPs I appreciate y'all um, if you're watching my content right now you got a laser I got a lot of tutorials where I show different things so if you're not subscribed please subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted when I drop the next video with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and shift from frame and make sure we got everything set up. It's looking pretty good. All right, y'all, y'all stay tuned for this amazing burn. I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing. came up with after clear coating everything I think it did pretty good my paper that I used when I was painting the blue was kind of facing the wrong direction and my blue was a little wider than I wanted it to be and have a line because I didn't paint for enough down but overall I think it adds to the patina of it I think it looks pretty good um, I could have gave it a little bit more power maybe 40 five five percent more power maybe 40 but I think overall it looks pretty good. I'm gonna hang it up on the wall. It's gonna be one of those uh, amazing burns. I appreciate y'all and I challenge y'all to go out and do it for yourself. Shoot me an email with it so I can post it on my next video. Whoever sends me one, you will be posted. Appreciate y'all and y'all have a good one. I'm out.